Look at behind me, it says Devil Town. My energy is kind of being thrown off right now, and I don't like it. <laughs> oh, this is cool. The energy is like so totally shifted. James, you want me to drive to you? I don't even know what you're saying. Hey guys, what's up? Chris Starr here and welcome back to my channel. So tonight I am at Crybaby Bridge here in South Carolina and this is going to be a completely uncut video. It is so dark out here and honestly I'm a little nervous about running into people but this bridge is shrouded in mystery and lore and I'm so excited to see what we're going to find out tonight because I've never been here. I've been to the Crybaby Bridge in New Jersey but this one is a lot darker, creepier and honestly I think a lot of shit went down here. So I'm actually here with James the fam. Yeah. So we got James the fam right now. I'm gonna show you James the fam. Let's this go. This is the scary part about the video, guys. She's already tripping out. Like I am too, I ain't gonna lie, but she's she's not helping, okay? This is very scary. No, because scary. I don't want to run into no, somebody. It's, no, it's, well, James I told Wayne. the last time we were here, I was here at this place, the only time I was ever here, um, there was this car that came by and there was like four or five dudes in there and they were yelling. And I kind of yelled back, and they came back, parked, got out of the car as we're on the other bridge, and one of the guys in the front had a shotgun. I almost crapped my pants. <laughs> I know, so I don't want to run into any it of that. Turns tonight. out, um, dude was what just. What the f was that? You heard that? It's like a loud footstep coming towards us. I, mean, I was talking, so I didn't hear it, but my eyes are open because anything is possible out here. Super spooky, and uh, it's right up here so i'm excited okay let's just get this going guys i don't know how long we're gonna be here for but this is uh you can see how dark this is, this, is this is honestly super crazy so this bridge is not accessible by car anymore so we actually have to walk we have to walk off the beaten path a little bit guys oh my god i already hear water I hope we don't run into any people. Oh my god. I don't want to run into any people. You told me it was this side. Oh my god. You told me it was on that side. No, it's over this way somewhere. And this is, yeah. Chris did not even see the bridge when we went past it, which I thought was really strange because it's really just like this. Guys, we're looking for the bridge. I don't know where it is, and I don't have a flashlight, and I'm like in a ditch right now, so good luck to me. What was that? James, somebody's coming. Okay, well don't freak out, Chris. Sorry. Oh, I walked into a fucking spider web. All right, but there are like electrical wires on the ground. There's like an opening right here. I don't know if that's where we go. Hey, James, do you know where Get to go? Because I don't. Not really. Get out of the car and. <laughs> Guy in the front had This is like a <laughs> James. This I just ate a bug. Is this where we go? Yeah, you gotta you gotta go this way. Okay. I'm trusting you. Okay. You're the one that can see, so I know, but I don't know if we're supposed to be going down the stitch. I know you go this way. That's all I know. I keep walking into spiders. Oh yeah. I'm getting all the spider webs for you, Chris. You're lucky. All right. Oh, right across the face, Chris. You why don't you go first? Oh my god, they're huge! <laughs> oh my god, these spiders are huge! I hope I don't get that. Wait, there's a huge spider web. Where? Right, right here. Right there. Oh, uh, I need a pokey stick. That'll do. Did I get it? No. It's right in the center, <laughs> James. More? Further? 
Yeah. It's right in the center. You're about to walk through it. Where? Well, I've gotten everything. So where the hell can it be? <laughs> just, just walk. <laughs> Guys, I don't even know what, what's about to transpire, so wish us luck. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't, why are we doing this, James? I don't know. Um, Where yeah, do we go? Look, look where the trail is. I'm trying. It's steep. It's really steep. Oh my god, what's ow, under ow. this fridge? Ow. Prickly, prickly pricks. Prick you, ow. Watch the pricker on the left. Oh, this is a phone. I know it'd be so eventful. Sorry, guys. You're gonna have to wait a second. Did we find it? Oh my god, we're here. I was gonna say, I hope you start seeing it soon because it should be right here somewhere. I remember last time we had to hop over this gate, so. You wanna go first? Yeah, you told me that we didn't have to walk through the woods. That's not walking through the woods. That was not a couple bushes, guys. Wait, Chris. I can't see anything. Oh my god, guys. It is so dark out here. What do I do? James, I found it. I need your light assistance. I need your light assistance. That was the biggest spider web I've ever seen in my life. Or I didn't see it, I just felt it. Oh my god. It was thick. Guys, we are off to a great start. I'm ducking. Okay. I already walked through it, so it's probably on me. Chris, we made it. We made it, James. How awesome. Let's look at the bridge. Shine your light. This the box, the okay, guys, I'm probably going to set you guys down so I can get some of my gear out. We are going to be using the REM pod. Um, I'm going to be using my spirit box apps. We're going to see what we can communicate here with. There's a couple stories that I want to share with you, obviously, but this is not the bridge that we drove over to get here. This is in the woods. Like we had to go through that little path. It wasn't just a couple bushes, guys. A blue light? Okay. Okay, there's a couple stories that I need to tell you guys. James, how do I lift this up? I'm excited. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, wait, no. You pull out the, the rim pod and then you can just. Sorry, how do I lift this pull up? It, pull it. Pull it, Chris. Pull it. There you go. Good job. All right, Chris, guys. I know how to pull that stick. I know how to pull that stick. Oh, really? Don't you dare. All right, I'm setting you guys up. We're a little crooked here. What am I on? All right, guys. So, all of the crybaby bridges across the, the, the US all kind of have the same lore to them. A woman who threw her baby off the bridge and unfortunately killed her baby. So the legend goes, you can hear a baby cry right around midnight. And actually, it's 1.12. There's cars passing by right now, hold on. I really hope nobody hits my car. Duh, what the f is that? Sorry. Um, so a couple of the legends go, there's a woman that threw her baby off the bridge and you can hear a baby crying. There is also a lady in white that can be seen, which is supposedly the mother. And apparently if you see a blue light, that is also a phenomenon that happens here as well. There seems to be like a lot of cars passing down this road right now. I don't like people. I like you guys, but like, I don't like that. I'm out in the middle of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, so this is one of the most intense <laughs> crybaby bridges I've ever been to. I've been to two different ones, one in Maryland and one in New Jersey. You guys can go back and watch those videos. But 
So interesting fact about this bridge, it was built in Virginia, then moved to Charleston, and then it was moved to Anderson, South Carolina. So a lot of energy has passed through here and it's no longer a functional bridge. So the road and the bridge that you have to cross over to get here is really just adjacent to me right now. It's just right over, right behind you guys. And yeah, this bridge is in the woods. So I'm gonna break out my REM pod. We're just gonna see what all goes down. And this is gonna be a fully uncut video for you guys. So I swallowed a bunch of bugs walking here, walking to spider webs. Make sure that you guys are hitting that thumbs up button because we are out here trying to get the best content we can for you. And hopefully nobody hits my car on the side of the road. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this REM pod on. All right. Sit back there. What's up? What type of energy do you feel here? Okay, so I was just ex bad. so I was just explaining to them mm -hmm. that this bridge uh, originally came from Virginia, and a lot of energy has oh, passed over. Yeah. So a lot of energy has passed over this bridge, right? Yeah. But the thing that I feel about this place is because it's so far back in the woods. I feel like people have come here, they've hung out, they probably drank, they probably you know played some weird spiritual games and yeah. did some dark shit. And yeah. obviously, when you drink or do whatever that lowers your frequency and that's kind of an invitation for a spirit attachment so they are possibly indirectly conjuring up energy in this location so you feel that negative energy too. oh i feel that I negative energy saying, like most places we go to i don't feel any type of negative energy but this place 100 percent, i feel it yeah no i 100 percent feel it too which is probably why we're both like and also niche. james uh -huh. The water that's beneath us, yeah. you hear that? So water is a conduit to the spirit realm and it actually amps mm. up it amps up spirit activity. Really? They use it as a means of gaining energy. Did you know that they actually used to, um, it was like a, I don't know, it's not called a dam, but they used to use it for like to get electricity. Oh no, I didn't know yeah, that. they used to, um, there was a, what are they? So not, this was an electric dam, but some type of electric thing that, you know. So this was an electricity like source as well. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't know, that I was forgot me. this Sorry. bridge actually was transferred here. It was actually set up and everything in another state and they, they transferred it here. I wonder why. It came from Virginia, went to yeah, freaking yeah. Charleston and now we're here, but it's completely graffitied. I don't know if you guys can tell yeah, uh, behind me, but yeah. A lot of yeah, people have been here. A lot of people have been here and I'm just curious if people have come back here and conjured up something bad i don't know i i do feel a very heavy feel like tight feeling in my chest and like you know done some, some stuff yeah with some i absolutely feel the same so you can indirectly conjure energy when you come to a location oh, you have the rim pod on? yeah i do have the rem okay. pod on you know what's crazy so the rim sorry pod, guys like at my house she's had it set up for like a, a couple of days it has been going off nonstop, but your haunted dolls are next to it. Yeah. The fact that it's not going I off traveled right now, down I here. Like I traveled down here with my haunted dolls, yeah. and the REM pod has been going off like crazy, like mad, like I've never it seen before. Scary, scary. So we were thinking maybe something's wrong with the REM pod, and we actually changed the battery multiple times. Nope, it's my haunted dolls. Um, they're very haunted, but. I do have the REM pod going on behind me and I am going to turn on the spirit box app that I do use. Link is down below if you guys want to check it out. I'm probably going to be using a couple different ones in this video, but I'm just going to keep this uh, chilling on the, the tripod right now and I'm going to ask some questions and see what happens. I think James and I are going to like split up. He might go down that way. I might stay here for a little bit. <sighs> what? Maybe I'm tripping. I thought I heard a growl. A growl? I could be wrong, but I thought I did. I don't want to run into no animals. Guys, okay, so like, I'm afraid of people and animal, 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 animals, animals, okay? Oh my God, yeah. Chris, do you want to see what we're going to go underneath? Have you seen down here? Wait, we're going underneath that? Oh, yeah, we're going to go underneath it. I think that's the scariest part of it. Here, shine your light for them so they can actually see yeah, look at that. what's beneath. There's an old shopping cart down there. You don't think there's someone like living down here, right? No, I don't think so. Okay. Because no. you like, know me. I don't want to run into people. Like, if there was rituals and different stuff that's been done here, I feel like they did it under the bridge. I mean, it could have been why. it could have been done here. Look at all the graffiti. I feel like this right. was a hangout spot for people. 100%. I think I'm gonna break out the spear box if you wanna yeah. maybe go down that way and I'll stay here for a little bit and then we'll kinda like reconnect. Yeah, for sure. Alright, I'm gonna chill just like um, right here. Well, 
Because I have my REM pod set up. I kind of just want to be right in the middle of the bridge for a minute. Hmm. What are you feeling? Um, I think that works. Let me know uh, what the spirit box says, and then uh, we'll do a spirit box in a little bit. Okay, cool. Don't gonna... don't stray too far in case I get kidnapped. Uh, I probably will. Oh, come on, James. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. All right, guys. Let's fix you guys up. Oh. This is creepy. I'll be honest. You want to know why? Because I can't see anything to the right of me and I can't see anything to the left of me. So anybody at any point? James, don't go too far. Really, I mean it. Because I... <laughs> what if I get kidnapped? Oh my God, another car. All right. What the f was that? Tell me you guys heard that. I'm sitting on f***ing broken glass. James? What? I just heard something go pssst. Yo, I just heard something in the voice. No, I heard like a, it sounded like a person. I don't want people to be here, guys. I'm sorry, I don't mean to sound like such a put. I just don't want to run into people because some of the people that come here do rituals. I don't I don't know what energy of bad juju they're bringing. I don't want their bad juju, you know what I'm saying? So I was about to break out my spirit box and it sounded like a pssst, like super loud, like somebody trying to get my attention. What? You didn't hear that? No. It was I'll, loud I'll, as hell. I'll be at the end over there. Let me know in the comments if you guys heard that. Holy crap, it definitely wasn't me. Uh, well, I, I didn't hear you at all. I can't even hear you talking over there. I'm going to be all the way down there and you may not see me, but you need me to yell. Okay, don't go too far. Oh my god, my bag just fell over by itself. What the f*** is going on right now, guys? Um, first of all, the app isn't even on yet and it's going off by itself. So that's weird enough in, in itself. Um, okay. So very interesting. All right, so I just want to reach out to any of the spirits that may be here. Anybody that would like to come forward and talk to me. My name is Chris. Uh, I'm just here to explore and try to understand the story of, of Crybaby Bridge and what took place here. Can, do you want to come forward and, and talk to me? I don't want to. How many people are here with me right now? Can you give me a number? I don't see James anymore. Great. I'm on this bridge by myself right now. That scared me. I don't know why. <laughs> you know what's weird? I can't see in front of me. And we have to go underneath that bridge, and I don't know if there's anybody down there. That's kind of what's like freaking me out the most. Is there anybody physically here with us? I am hearing whispers all around me. I don't know if you guys are picking up on that. If you are, let me know in the comments. What took place on this bridge? Did something bad happen here? Is the story about Crybaby Bridge and the lady throwing her baby off the bridge true? Did a woman really throw her baby off this bridge? I have a device behind me. Ooh. You can get close. Hey, James! James! I think I just scared him. <laughs> He's running back. <laughs> hold on, hold on. 
James, you'll never, you'll never, you'll never believe what happened. Oh my God, James, you'll never believe what happened. So I just had a moment of realization that I'm on this bridge by myself. Are you serious? <laughs> Chris, you suck. You scared me because I couldn't see you anymore. Yeah, I was like, going underneath the, <laughs> under the bridge and I literally started walking down there. You said you, you were going to wait for me to go down. Uh, <laughs> Guys, wait. Can I just show you how disheveled James looks right now? <laughs> yeah, because... <laughs> I, you know what's funny? I literally, I was getting ready to say as I'm walking down, I'm getting ready to say, this would be a really bad time for Chris to yell. And before I can get any of the words out of my mouth, I intuitively I knew. Name. James, I think I intuitively knew. You know what? You know what, Chris? I think you're going to be the girl that cries wolf one day. You're going to call me and be like, ha, ah, and you really need me. Stop. You said you were going to go down there with me. I will. It's actually like hella more spookier than this. Is it? Oh, way more. We just got honked at. We did just get honked at. Are we safe? Yeah, I mean, they didn't stop, right? No. So we're good. I mean, I'm sure they're just like, oh, you know, somebody's checking out the, I mean, this bridge is pretty famous, you know, so I'm sure all the locals knew all about it. Okay, hold on. You know what, maybe I'm gonna just come up under the bridge with you. Oh, I'm just gonna go with James under the bridge. Yeah, no one will see us under there. Um, they can, <laughs> what? My spirit box is off. Look at, it says start. Yeah, I heard that. Look at, I don't know if you can see that, but it says start, it's not even on. Well, once you start it before we go down, just to say, are we gonna, are we gonna be safe going down there? Do you want us to go down there? We'd love to hear something from you before we go. Yeah, hold on guys. Uh, we're, we're, I'm gonna reposition myself because I wanna go down there, but I'm not going down there by myself. There's a shopping cart. It looks uh, like people uh, might've uh, been living down there at some point. No, you that would know? be a challenge. Have you go down there all by yourself? Ooh. Chris? <laughs> it's like I intuitively knew that James was saying that. And you know what? I got him. I got him. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Is it hard to get down there? Um, it's not easy. Oh, great. It's not easy. Um, but there is a path. It's like really so it's hard to bad. hold my phone and my camera doing an uncut video. Mm -hmm. It really genuinely is very challenging. I'm not gonna lie. All right. James doesn't didn't even have his his light on before. Like, what is he doing? He's just walking through the darkness. Well, I don't have a flashlight. I just have my light, so I can't see anything in, except this bright light. We need to get you one of these three dollar fifty cent lights from Timu. Yeah, James got this $3.50 light from Timu, and yeah. it's like the best flashlight I've ever Dude, seen. You know what the coolest thing about it is? I'm doing a promo for, the, promo for them, and if you've never used Timu before, they actually, just for signing up for Timu, which doesn't cost anything, you know, create an account using my, my link, they're going to give everyone one of these for free. If Wait, you don't so I get, a fr I get a free flashlight? Have you used Timu before? I don't think so. Then heck yeah, you can. Free. Okay. I'm actually gonna order more of these because like it is literally I've had a hundred dollar flashlight. I don't have a flashlight, I just have this light. That. I can't see any I'm blinded right now just by my light. Um James, do we wanna ask if we're safe before we go down there? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. Any energy here that would like to come forward and communicate with us, please let us know. Are we safe going underneath the bridge? Yeah. Are we safe going underneath the bridge? Ooh, I'm so shaky. Wait till you start going down. You guys are gonna have to let us know what you hear in the comments. Why don't you keep that on while we walk in case you catch something crazy? Here, hold this for a sec. I thought it said let's go. I think it said let's go too. I don't know. We're gonna have to listen back to this, guys. All right, I guess I'm carrying it. Here we go. Carry no, I'll carry it. It's okay. You sure. Yeah. I, I don't mind. It. it actually, I can hold it easy like this. Well, so, I don't yeah. think I'll be able to hear it. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's all good. Mm -hmm. um, how do we actually get down there? Cause... Walk, like... I don't. 
I don't even have a bright enough light, as you can tell. I just have my camera light. Beautiful. James, I only have 34 minutes left on my battery, so. Uh -huh. On what battery? On my battery. I know. Oh, wait, actually. I don't know why I said. Oh, wait, actually, yeah, that is true. This way? Which way? Are you whispering about me? No. Not about you. Yeah, it said he is. It said talking. he is. I'm not talking about you. Uh huh. What? James the fam. You shut that trap I'm right kidding. now. I'm not talking about you. Nor am I looking at you. I'm blind. Where do we go? You let me walk. That way. I gotta go down that way? Well, if you wanna get down, we gotta go that way. Are we, oh my God. There's no. You wanna go first or you want me to go first? James, I don't have a flashlight. You're probably gonna have to go first. Okay. That means I guess I'm taking care of all the spider webs. Yeah, and I get to see your freaking butt crack. You ain't seeing no butt crack. No butt crack today, James? We no. usually get the pleasure of seeing your butt crack. Mm. It would be your pleasure to see it. No. I can't believe we have to go down this way. Like, mm -hmm. why? Well, you'd be lucky that I'm taking care of all the spider webs for you. Okay, this is actually pretty open. Why is... Oh, I think it's just the water on the leaves. It felt like it was raining. Hey, no one should be able to see us on any of this bridge also. So we should be good. Um, this is the path. That way or this way? I tell. I honestly can't tell. Um, I don't I see a thing. Uh, 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 Guys, we are actually deep in the woods. James is a liar. Maybe this way. Yeah. This I'm going to turn this off. We are deep in the woods. James is a liar. What? I'm not lying. This is deep in the woods. Well, that's because we're going underneath. Oh my god, I just saw a light. No, uh, what color? It was like yeah, yellow. It wasn't blue, right? Okay. No, but it was like yellow and it was above I your hear head. A car coming. Where do we go? Because we're walking the opposite uh, Chris, way. You know where the bridge is, so you have a better chance of finding it than me. I know, but we're walking the opposite way of the bridge. Well, it looks like a path, right? Yeah, but the bridge is on the other okay, side. Okay, well, we need to find a way to cut in this way. But there is no path. Somewhere. Well, I don't know well, direct path, but at some point, like that could be it right there. James, there's like nowhere where for us to walk. Um, you don't think that's a path? That does not look like a path. So we'll keep going a little bit, and if we can't find it, we'll have it. Must be one of these. This looks pretty open right here. We're just in the middle of the woods right now. You ever feel when you're filming, like, a calm and quietness, but it's, like, almost scary, like something's about to happen? Yeah, I feel like something's about to happen, and yeah, I don't like it right because now. we're not even in the spot where we said we were going to go. We're, like, on the opposite side Chris, of the bridge. you're following a blind guy, okay? I'm following a blind guy, yeah. you said? I'm trying my best, though. I feel, like we're, I feel water, so we're, we're heading for a different direction. We're like really deep in these woods, well, guys. see a better path, let me know. I don't even, I don't want to get lost. Well, we can't get lost. I don't think. <gasps> what was that? Did you hear something? It sounded like something coming from behind me. I hear water, but huh. I don't. Yeah. This is all like pricklies and I don't want you walking into we're at a dead end, what you're saying? We're at a dead end. Okay. I think we have to go back to the beginning. I think it was one of those cut outs that we just have to go I have no idea where I'm going. Ow, I'm stuck on pricklies. 
Guys, it is so creepy out here. I feel really uncomfortable. James. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. I was like, you just took off on me. I know. I don't think this is the right way, and I only have 30 more minutes left on my camera. Yeah, well, you can go back to the top of the bridge by yourself if you want. No, I know, but I, I want to find the bottom, but I don't want my camera to die. I'm going back. Okay, this doesn't look like the way we came, I didn't think. I don't remember passing through this. We did. Are you sure? Yeah, we, yeah. Came, we came underneath this. I hope so. I definitely would have got lost around here again. I hear the water. I think we're underneath it. James, I hear the water. We're underneath it. Guys, I found the way accidentally. Oh my god. We're walking through a f***ing jungle right now. James, I found it. James, put your light on the water. Oh. It said come. Come where? Down. 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 Oh, yeah. we are here. Where exactly down do you want to go? What is that, weak? Do you see what that says? Devil Town. That says Devil Town. Oh my god. Okay, so immediately upon coming down here, guys, I'm not gonna lie, the energy has like completely shifted. I turned my spirit box off and it keeps turning itself on. Hmm. He wants to talk to us. There's nowhere else, else for us to walk. There's just this like rock right here. Can, hey, let me hold your camera. Can you pull out your REM pod? Yeah. Because it didn't go off at all when we were on top, which is really strange. Yeah, um, yeah, that's that's good right there. I know, I figured the REM pod would go off. I don't think I'm in the, in the frame. Talk about spooky. I don't either. We're just gonna have to figure it out. I don't know how you like thought you were going back the same direction James, we came. James. Oh shh. Can you make that stop? Can you walk away from it? Dude, no way. Oh my god. Literally, it didn't go off at all down there. And as soon as we put it down, it's going off. And it listened to it. Well, it that's says crazy. that. Listen. Look at behind me. It says Devil Town. Yeah, I see that. My spirit box is still is talking and I turned it off. What the? I definitely don't want to go to Devil's Town. I don't want to go to Devil's Town either. No. See, and then I feel like I have bugs crawling in my hair. Literally went right off and it turned off. And it I don't even think you guys can hear the spirit box. So I think I'm just going to turn it off for now. Yeah, it's going to be too hard to hear. But maybe you can ask some questions and see if you can get it. Because it listened to you and turned off. Maybe it can answer some questions by going off if the answer is yes. All right, if there's any energy down here that would like to come forward and communicate with us, you can get near this device like you just did and touch it. Can you make that go off for us? Apparently we're in Devil Town. I just heard a disembodied voice. It said, yeah, it was a man. It came from that way. Seriously? Yeah, water can actually be used the same way a spirit box is used. I, yeah, I've, I've, seen, that. I've yeah. seen that before. This is actually insane. The energy down here completely shifted from up there. Oh my god. 
This is like, I don't know how to get back up yeah, to the top. Yeah, it was up stop. It was like a, a, not a good feeling, but down here is almost like a frightening feeling. In no, a I, I actually don't feel comfortable, but no. I don't know how to get back up to the top, so I'm yeah. sorry. We'll figure it out. Can See. you make that go up for okay. us again? Is it okay that we're here? Or if, maybe if you want us to leave, can you touch it? I just hear voices and it sounds like it's coming through the water sometimes like yeah that is possible like legit but also sometimes our minds get fooled by like the noise of the water where i swear i've heard things before that maybe it's just in my mind i don't know well water is used as a conduit so any right. constant sound oh yeah 100 percent, it could happen yeah so any constant sound a spirit can use that to manipulate to form words and to some sort of response um, and water is a flowing sound so sounds like the cars are driving right over us they are well it's right there oh okay That's the, the other bridge right there. James can you flash your light over there over here, over here? this is spooky this is not going off now it told us to come down here though, the spirit box. Yeah, How really crazy did. is that? There's nowhere else for us to really go, guys. No, like, it really isn't. We're right kind of just like. Stuck I swear, here. last time I came here though, maybe the water wasn't as high or something, because I felt like we were able to walk around down here. Even like walk to the I other I just side heard something here. again. And I felt like something just touched my side. This is freaking out. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm very, very intuitive. No, I know, I know. Guys, I am very intuitive and I do pick up on energy and I yeah. felt right now like my leg was being touched and I'm not exaggerating. I felt pressure on my right leg. Oh, I believe you. Like yeah. the fact that it says Devil Town goes to show Dude, that yeah. people came here and probably didn't have the best intentions, you know, like... How do you probably think weren't even, in the good a good mindset how do you think they even spray painted that i don't even know how they would get up there how the hell do they do that i don't know but like it's, it's a, literally like 15 feet off the ground i wish this rem pod would go off again it's so okay. weird how it just went off once in the comments i want to know how is it possible without a ladder or something how could somebody have like put that there because i can tell you it's about 10 foot 10 to 12 15 feet right there then yeah, that's what, 15, 20 feet right there, so I don't get it. And obviously, no one bringing a lot of down here, you know? I'm gonna have to look back at my old video and see if that was there before. It might have been out of bad memory. Alright, we're gonna go back up unless you want to turn that REM pod on for us to show us you want us to stay here. Okay. Alright, I guess it's time to go back on top. Yeah, I can do that. Spooky. This is really spooky down here, guys. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the energy is so different from up there. It is. It's I, hard to hear things through the water. I right? know, that's why I don't have the so spirit box confusing. on right now. Yeah. Yeah, we'll turn that back on when we get upstairs. Oh, upstairs, back up there. I wonder if we can go that way. I feel like that's the way I went last time. I have 22 minutes left on my camera. There you go. Yeah, I only have 22 minutes left on my camera. Wait, hold on. So, somehow we're gonna have to find out what it is. Oh my god, I almost tripped. Going back. That's not the way to Oh yeah, it is. What am I talking about? Dude, I would have no chance on my own here. <laughs> I okay. know, I don't even know how to get back up to where we were. Well, you see where the bridge is, so we just follow the bridge. Do you go this way? I think we went this way. So we have to go that way. No, because we came down on this side. We came down on this side. We came down on that side. Okay. That's the way our cars come from. All right, James. Guys, I really hope he's right because I don't want to be in these woods. There's a car.
you got to tell me. <laughs> you're the one that can't see, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Because we are like, I am like a mess. Look at my legs. It's a little wet. Probably got spiders crawling up my ass. Ow! It hurt. It hurt? <laughs> yeah, you're about to, too. Yeah, I will. I'm Watch out. Just, oh, I see it. Thank Watch you. Watch out. Uh, a little prick. All right, where do we go now? <laughs> I see rocks to kind of, we have to go right. Straight into the right. That's like all tangled. What? Okay. I, I don't know how to get back. Oh, right here. James, I found it. Thank you. Thank you, James. You're what? All right, guys, we're going back up to the top now. There's another car coming. All right. Oh. Can't break. I go. Cut. I go. All right, and I put my camera down. down. I was ready. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Well, we'll back to oh. What's crazy is I only have 19 minutes left in my camera, and when I film like this, I ah, I can't see anything in front of me. I just did the same thing. Look at all the graffiti, guys. There's a lot. It's getting really hard to breathe. James, are you okay? James. James. Yeah, I'm gonna be okay. What happened? Oh. What? What happened? Um, oh shit. What happened? Did you walk into something? Oh uh, yeah. So, uh, let me see. It, oh, hold on. So, oh God, I've never actually. So, what was that? You know, oh, I can't say anything. Don't be anything, please. Oh, uh, um, that hurts so fucking bad. Oh, something. Oh God, something right here. Like, you know, when something like you go across something and it scratches your face. Yeah. I've never felt something literally touch my eyeball. And scrape across my eyeball. Can you open your eyes? No, barely. It hurts. Do we need to leave? Like, do I need to bring you somewhere? Um, no. Well, the thing is, thank you, thanks to my 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 Lord keeping me protected. It's my my eye that's so uh, I'm blinded. But if that was, oh God, it hurts. But if that was my other eye, oh, that could have been really bad. Like literally, it literally could have just been my other eye. I've always been worried about that happening to my eye. Thank God it happened to that eye. But I'll are you okay? Like, are you gonna be able uh, to walk out of here? Because it literally feels like my thank God we stuck. got up here when we got when we got, when we got up here. Like, I'm stuttering because I'm oh. like really concerned. I'm sorry, guys. Let's just keep walking. Okay. Oh God. Really like really Damn. Oh my God. There's something walking behind me. I don't know if you guys heard that. I walked into that too, James. James, I walked into that too. But honestly, I, I really, I, I didn't think that you would hit it. Um, Just call me one-eyed James. I'm sorry. I should have. I should have told you. I'm sorry. It's so hard for me to see because I'm blinded by my light. You know what? That's actually kind of a blessing that happens because I'm always worried about when I'm tracking through like heavy things like this. That one day, like something's just gonna poke or scratch my good eye, and I'll be completely blind. You know what I was I saying from before? Now on, I was like, when I do that, I gotta have some kind of eye protection. You know what I was saying before? Huh. I walked into it and I was like, guys, I can't see because my camera. 
is actually blinding me the light and yeah, i walked into same, it too yeah. right now uh, you're so spotty i can't even see you oh my god i'm like seeing something right in front of me but it's like shadow play it's from my the light in my eyes like every time i blink i see this big rainbow colored orb of energy it's hard to explain but guys we were just down there that's where we just went oh that what the hell was that there's pentagrams here no i don't even want to stand on it i'm curious if we're going to get the new body block up here no, I mean, it just went off down there and it, I told it to stop and it did, which was very, very interesting. I'm going to put you guys down again, okay? This is so bizarre. James, I only have 14 minutes left. Okay, that's all right. I don't know why. What's going on with my camera? Well, we wanted to do it about an hour, so that's almost an hour. All right. What if I put it in right in the center of the pentagram? Um, oh, I was about to say. Um, oh, God. At least, oh, Chris. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if that's a good idea at all. But, okay. <laughs> it might be a really bad idea. I've never tried anything like that, have you? No. If there's something here with us, can you make that light up? Can you step away? James. Whoa! Again. Oh, oh, oh. Holy crap. Okay, can you make that go off for us again? You just did it. You just did it for us. What the? That was crazy. James, tell me that you didn't hear that man. I, was, okay, I literally was saying something as you reacted, so I was talking over something. Oh my god, was, I'm shaking. You heard like a voice? I heard a man. Was it me because I was talking low? No, maybe it was an echo. You think it was your echo? It could have been. Maybe just because like the bridge is right underneath us, guys, um, it could have just been an echo. This is trippy. Dude, that's crazy you did that. If you're real, can you make it go off, please, for us? Should I put on the Necrometer app? Because that one's yeah, spooky. Yeah, I like that better. That one's spooky. Yeah. Dude, I don't, I'm not, a, I don't Look really... it, this is not on, and it, it says, start, it's not on. Dude, James, it. it's going off by itself. I, I'm not a big fan of necrophotics so much. It's just so hard to hear and everything, but when you use necrophonics in a sound deprivation, it is one million times more intense. We should do that in the video. Oh, Let yeah. Let me know in the comments if you want to see Chris and I do a sound deprivation from a location. Like an Estes method. Dude, it literally has freaked me out more than anything ever. James, this is saying some creepy shit. Okay, who wants... It's over there. Okay. It's right there. Who wants to talk to us right now? Are the legends of Crybaby Bridge real? It's hard to make it out. You know, I know. We'll listen back and we'll be able to hear it you better. It would be cool if they came out with a spirit box just like this, but it actually anything that it actually understands, it puts the words there. That would so, be So, awesome. this actually does text. Does it? Yeah. Let's see if anything comes through. Oh, the number nine. The number nine. What about the number nine? I asked how many spirits were here before, Ooh. and it said the number nine. Could be nine spirits. Are there nine spirits here? I want to know if like the legends are true about this bridge or what actually happened here. Do people come here and conjure energy, do rituals, right. you yeah. know? Because yeah. that's what I'm feeling. Like it, it's really heavy and dark and there's like garbage down there. What? What? No, maybe it was just me. I thought I saw something moving down there. Oh, don't tell me that. Whoa, okay. 
My bag just fell over by Dude, itself. Literally, I told you I heard something over there. Something just pushed her bag over. No freaking way, Chris. Did you catch it on camera? Yeah, I think so. I think if I caught it on I camera, even though this is an uncut video, I'm going to overlay it on my I video. I did. What the hell? I literally first heard, I, I literally thought I saw some. Holy crap. I heard, I, okay. I literally thought I seen like something move, like a mist or something move that way. And then just maybe, maybe it's just me and blew it off. And immediately right after the, the bag falls over. How does that happen? Did something come and push it over? I don't know, but James was saying that he heard something and then my bag no, I fell. Saw something. And then I heard what something. What are you trying to say to me right now? James, this is saying some weird shit. What are you trying to tell me? I don't know. I want to know who pushed that bag over. Yeah, me too. Who pushed my bag over? Whoa. Dude, but seriously, what freaks me out is I saw something or someone move that way. And literally right after that, the freaking bag moves. It falls over. Who pushed my bag over? The REM pod's not going off at all. Alien? I wouldn't even doubt that there's UFO activity down here. There's a lot of energy that's been conjured up on this road. I'll tell you that. I can feel it deep within the depths of my soul. I hear another car coming. Honestly, I have to wrap up soon. I have nine minutes left, so. Yeah. Guys, let us know down below in the comments what you're feeling, like what vibes you're getting from Crybaby Bridge. I've never been to this bridge before, but I will say this is the spookiest out of all of the Crybaby Bridges that I have been to, and yeah. I've been to two others. You yeah. would agree? Yeah. And I would say it just we can end it eight nine minutes early, but after that just happened, I just want to wait yeah. a couple minutes and see if anything else happens. Because I'm telling you, if you would have saw something move, like I thought I saw something move, like a mist or something, I mean, it could have been anything. I don't see good, but. I hope I had a channel. I know I did, and then like I kind of dismissed myself. I'm ready to run to the car in case something happens. Me my scratch eyeball over here is ready to go too. Guys, I don't know. The energy here is fing weird. Let me put you, hold on, wait for me, don't leave me, don't leave me. So here's the thing though, I what? don't want to walk back to the car yet. Why? Because I want to do a thumbnail on the bridge. So what you're saying is we have to end our video and then still stay here and do a thumbnail? Yeah. Oh, well, actually, technically no. You know what I could technically do really quick? I can set my camera up right here and do it in the video. Show everyone how we get a thumbnail. We're going to show you how we do our thumbnail. <laughs> Alright, let me look this way. Um, Guys, this bridge is kind of making me feel very uneasy. Um, what happened? I need that light that's in your back. <laughs> Here, can you hold my camera? Yeah, sure. Just keep it pretty steady just in case something happens. I we don't you. know, you know what I'm saying? I got you, girl. We don't know if something's going to happen. That's true. Something might pop off at any second. Um, you mean like seeing a James, I don't have the light. I put it in your bag. That big box light? I don't have it. How do you not have it? I put it in there. Did you take it out? No, I didn't take it out. And it's in there. What? Jeez, I swear to God, I don't... Oh, oh, oh my God. It's so good. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're good. My energy is kind of <laughs> being thrown off right now, and I don't like it. Yeah, I did. Okay. There you go. I don't know how to turn it I'll on. It. Here you go. Take that. Perfect. James, I think I have to end my video because my camera is about to die. Okay. So we have to say our farewells. Guys, 
Thank you so much for coming along to Cry Baby Bridge in this uncut video. If you want us to come back, let us know down below in the comments. Make sure that you are subscribed to James the Fam. Um, I have to really go check you out his eye. You. When we get back to the car, I'm honestly really concerned for your eye. Um, I don't know what pushed my bag over, but the REM pod wasn't su like super active, but the spirit box was saying some weird shit. So I gotta listen back to all that, but I have two minutes left or I can't even freaking see what my camera says. It's about to die guys. So I'm gonna go, but I will catch you guys super soon. Peace out starlings, much love. Guys, so I know I said that this was gonna be an uncut video, but as soon as we left, James started to projectile vomit everywhere. I'm in my car, I'm gonna go pick him up, but he is like violently sick. I don't know what. James, are you okay? Do you want me to, do you want me to just pull my car up? So you don't have to walk? Ow. He's coming. We're gonna have to wait to see when he gets in the car what he says. <sighs> Guys, we got James. James is back. Did you film that whole thing? No. You are uh, dripping sweat. Do you need me to bring you to the hospital? No. Do you have to throw up again? No, I don't feel like throwing up anymore. I couldn't stop. James, I was here. like dry heaving. I know, I know. I saw it all. Here, wait. Take this water. Here. I have water. Are you sure? Guys, so yeah. this was supposed to be... Here. This was your water. This was on your seat. This was supposed to be an uncut video, but James is really, really, really unwell, and I have no idea what is happening. I am truly I freaking I freaked out. No, I know. I like Here. literally, like, I don't know. I, I can't. I don't even know how to explain it right now. How about you close the door? I turn the car on. We put the AC yeah, please, on, please. and we get the fuck out of here. We don't mind. I just don't get it. I don't understand what happened. I just can't understand it right now. I was just throwing up. I was like, I hope she just comes down here. And then I heard you, and I was like, after like, because like, it all started. And I was then... going to drive. James, you know I was going to drive to you, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. You're good. <laughs> I'm so fucking shaking, guys. Like, Well, I'm the problem was, I'm surprised you even heard me because like. I saw and I heard it come out of you. Yeah. Well, it all started like, it's like I, I stopped and I, and I like, just felt so not I'm gonna start good. driving guys I have to please yeah I have to get out of here okay James for real for real like do you need to go anywhere no, no I, I feel so much better right now I wish I could like totally just explain it right now but I'm confused I don't know what happened no it's like James so much I literally want to cry because I have never seen you like that like I'm I've never felt like that in my life like I don't know if something tried to get into your energy I don't know what this was supposed to be an uncut video I know I keep saying that but like I have to include that in this video I want to get the it this was room. an uncut video. This was just after the fact. We finished doing our thumbnail pictures. Chris was actually getting a really bad feeling. So bad that I, kept like, I could tell she me. was freaking out. I could tell you were freaking out because you asked me for the light and then like you you walked and then I realized that I couldn't barely see. So she'd flash the light so I can see. And then as soon as he thought I could see, like she turned the light and kept going. Like she was ready to book it out of there. And I couldn't understand why she was in such a rush because we just finished but like i don't know what kind of feeling did you have because something uh, freaked you out you know that it did because i kept i rushing know i know you i know something freaked you out i just felt and then that happened me. to me like you felt that before it, it happened this, chris i know i did i tell i told you i said i have a and bad you feeling. look terrified no you it wasn't just a you know a normal i have a bad feeling you were freaking terrified you were just so scared you wanted to go and and, and you waited for me but like 
you just wanted to get the hell out of there. Like something scared you. It's my intuition. It's yes. my senses. And well, I, just I felt believe in it. I energy. believe in it. Next time you feel that, let me know I, I so was I can to, just. I was no, I know. To tell you. That, I know. That's why you thought we had to get out of there. Yeah. But I don't know what. Oh my god. I, that's why I, I was so, like urging this you. This is like. Remember, so I was crazy. like, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to be annoying. I said that to you like five times. Chris, I, like, I. So okay, so I, I felt. I don't even know what I felt. But I felt something and it hit me like a freaking ton of bricks. Okay. So I, I want to tell know. you something. I'm so confused. I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to feed into the energy. I didn't want to feed into the energy, but when we were underneath the bridge, I legitimately started to feel nauseous and I didn't want to say it out loud because obviously that can kind of manifest and it can feed off of my fear. So I, my biggest fear is throwing up and that's always been a phobia of mine. No, I know. You that's why that I didn't want me. you to get close. I, that's why I, I... You were throwing up so loud, James. Chris, so while, while I was throwing up, I could hear Chris. James, James, you okay? I couldn't answer her, I was though. panicking. Wow. This seems like a failed attempt at a possession, and James vomiting was him purging out that demonic entity's energy. I do believe, truly, that James was attacked, and something was trying to take hold of his energy. Him vomiting was him purging out that energy and him feeling completely fine and being completely fine now and obviously our protection rituals and the prayers that we did and the cleansing that I did, that all has a lot of power and please always remember that the light always overcomes the dark. This is going to change the way that I view the paranormal and the way that I go and investigate places. My intuition was hardcore telling me something. I was hearing voices in my head. We ended our uncut video and I just felt so annoying to James because I was trying to book it out of there. I was trying to rush out of there. And I guess James thought I was being like very impatient, right? Like, yeah, just, I couldn't understand like why, what's the big rush? We just finished our video. It's like, you want to get back to the car, like back to the house. like. You can't wait a minute or something like you were just i didn't realize like what what you were feeling at that time i just you know pass it off as you just you know being impatient it was three o'clock in the morning so i guess he thought maybe i just wanted to come home and go to bed yeah. but i was feeling this deep looming just like fear i just had to get out of there i heard these voices in my head my guides were telling me that it was dangerous and unsafe and it's not that it was a physical person so i had a moment where i felt okay it's not a physical person so i'm not going to be harmed but it felt very heavy and very very dark and what's crazy is we were taking thumbnail photos and james caught this on his camera but i didn't catch this on my camera he actually caught a very demonic voice talking directly into his camera. My camera was side by side with his. It was only speaking into James's camera. And you can hear it right now. No, it was literally like a minute later. We literally just took that one minute track. We, yeah. we, took the, we took the video and we took that one minute track out because you wanted to get out. Yeah, so so I, we wasted no time. We out. wasted <laughs> no time. I start booking it. I think James is following me to the car. He's like, just go, just go. You know, yeah. obviously because I was in a rush. So I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to go to the car. I get to the car. I realize James is nowhere to be found. The road is so dark. I turn around and I see James on the floor. He's on the ground with his light in the distance. And I had no idea that he was that far behind me. That's how badly I just wanted to get into my car. And then I freak out and I'm like, okay, I get out of my car. I'm calling for James. He's not answering me. It's to the point where he was almost unconscious, guys. I hear him project hot vomiting. I see it from a distance. I couldn't barely breathe. That's the like light is on the ground. I don't even know. The panic, it wasn't even panic, like the way that he described it was more than terrifying. Terrifying doesn't even describe what we experienced tonight. This changes everything for me. I've been doing this for six years, guys, and that does not mean that we are untouchable. We are invincible. I, I honestly did not do my protection ritual before we went to this location, and I know that I should have. Obviously, we did our prayers, we, we did a protection ritual after, and I'm going to continue doing that before I even close my eyes this morning because the sun's about to come up. I had goosebumps the entire ride home. I am so shaken by this experience. To me, it's a little traumatizing and this makes me Very rethink even bringing people on investigations with yeah. me. Yeah, like, I've, I've been like wanting to take my son on investigation. Hell no, never. Unless I know it's not a demonic place, no, no. I just want you guys to understand that what we do is very real. We go to real locations, and obviously we have a very deep passion for the spiritual realm and the paranormal, but that doesn't mean that bad things can't happen. Dude, I didn't even know spirits could 
do what happened. Like, I can't even explain it. It was... It's so just, it, it's it's beyond terrifying. Like, I, I use terrifying a lot, I think, because I've been terrified before, but I, I've never no, in my life experienced that. anything never. that we both not have even ever close. experienced. It's more than triple the worst thing ever. And like, the thing is, I was not affected by this energy, but because I saw James in such a state, I'm like... No, it was if you were affected by it, because you felt that something was going to happen. Right. That's why you yeah. wanted to get out of there. But in terms of like it affecting my energy and like being getting sick and right. stuff like oh, that, yeah, yeah. I wasn't personally affected. It didn't even speak into my camera, which is shocking because it was right next to yours. But I think I'm just in such a total state of shock witnessing one of my good friends be so unwell to the point of almost being unconscious. Like I asked him so many times, do I need to bring you to the hospital? What can I do? What do we do? He couldn't even answer me. He was stumbling back to the car. I. Guys, I'm at a loss for words. I know in the beginning I said that this was an uncut video, but there's no way in hell that I could not discuss this with you because I need you guys to know that this is serious. Okay, please, please, when you go to locations, be responsible. Always do a protection prayer or ritual, whatever you do before and after. Cry Baby Bridge has a lot of lore and a lot of local legends, but there's a lot of satanic imagery. A lot of people, Many people have gone there, drew these satanic symbols, and I'm sure that people have gone there to drink and hang out and party. When you drink that lowers your vibration. And not only, I truly felt in the depths of my soul that people did satanic rituals there. I believe Luciferians have visited this location just because they're drawn to it, because of all of the symbolism that's there. That is indirectly conjuring energy. Whatever voice we picked up on James's camera was truly demonic. And we would love to know in the comments what you guys think you heard because I personally am hearing I'm not dead, but others are hearing other things. You, you hear a growl know? and then, yeah. Whatever it is, is, is inhuman. It affected James not even a minute later. I obviously wanted to get the hell out of there. I will just end it on this. I feel like I'm a little scarred from this situation and this definitely changes the way that I view the paranormal and how I will be going about my investigations. I always have to make sure that my spiritual well-being comes first. There are people that make comments that, you know, why are you running out? Why are you leaving when it's just getting good? I'm going to tell you this and I'm going to end on this. My spiritual well-being will always come first and my friends will always come first and the people that are in my videos. We obviously do this because we want to entertain you guys. We love you guys. We want to bring you the best content we can. When things start popping off like this, we need to take care of ourselves. So that's why I was in a rush to leave. So if you guys ever see that, just know that's my intuition. That's my guides, my angels telling me that I am in danger and I am unsafe and I'm going to listen to that calling. Thank you guys so much for coming along. Please let us know your thoughts. Would love to know what you guys think is, is being said in that audio. And James and I are, I don't even think we're going to be getting to bed tonight. I'll be honest, the, the sun is literally about to come up. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you for watching.